positive self-talk. I would give you a little tip if this is something that you recognize that you don't do enough for yourself. Self-love begins with how we speak to ourselves. So if you can identify that you are saying little things like, oh that was stupid, or oh come on dum-dum, or asshole, you know? We tend to make light of these things when we're operating from our wound still, so just notice if you've had any of these come up. See if you can notice those things and decide if you might want to use that as a point from which to shift. Ask yourself here, what would someone who loves themselves unconditionally say? So we're going to be diving in a lot deeper to your higher self, your intuition. 52 weeks of self-love and self-healing. You sign up now, you can get access to Restore and Love Yourself with Beth group higher on-demand library of self-love, somatic intuitive practices, and ways to connect in a deeper way and live from a place of your love as opposed to your need to be seen, heard, and recognized and to not be abandoned. It is a way to commit to yourself to heal the abandonment wound. Thanks for watching. See you soon, beauties. Mwah.